an Indo-German success story. Once reborn, an Audi e-tron brings light to villages in India. It's indeed a phoenix rising from the ashes. The aptly named Second Life batteries from the Audi e-tron are used to light up streets and also power electric sewing machines in a small textile factory in India. So there's a strong environmental uh, uh, impact and there is a significant social impact. And the modules from within the Audi e-tron battery also help power an electric rickshaw that can be recharged with solar energy. Das ist, dass wir eine bessere Zukunft schaffen möchten. Ne? Kann ich fahren? Formula One world champion Nico Rosberg is enthusiastic about the project and very keen on taking a test drive in the 500 kilogram rickshaw. With a 10 kilowatt hour battery, it has a range of up to 120 kilometers. Bremse funktioniert. Ich bin jetzt die Kurve mal ein bisschen vorsichtiger gefahren, weil es ist ja ein Dreirad. Habe ich gedacht, nicht, dass ich jetzt noch hier umkippe. Aber ansonsten top und voll sinnvoll. Es gibt 50 Millionen Rickshaws auf der Welt, die alle natürlich mit dem Verbrenner laufen. Und wenn wir hier eine Lösung finden könnten, die auch wirtschaftlich sinnvoll ist, diese 50 Millionen Verbrenner Rickshaws zu wandeln in eine Elektromobilität, das wäre ja ein Riesenimpact. Second Life ist essentiell, weil irgendwann sind die Batterien einfach nicht mehr nicht mehr adäquat genug für Autos. Und da ist es wichtig, dass wir dann neue Anwendungen finden. Hidden under the driver's seat is an electric motor and four battery modules. They were once part of the battery in an Audi e-tron. Dozens of these modules all grouped together in the car's floorboard form the battery that supplied power to the car. But when the battery's efficacy drops to around 75%, it's time for it to be replaced. The cells, however, still find use in other applications. For example, the modules from older e-trons can power a rickshaw for at least seven years after the conversion takes place. In collaboration with the Bavarian auto manufacturer, Podip Chatterjee developed the prototype for the Second Life batteries from the Audi e-tron. Weil die Batterie sehr leistungsfähig ist, kann die Rikscha auch Vollgas fahren, dass sie die Leistung komplett über einen langen Zeitraum abrufen kann. Das ist nur der Fall, weil die Batterie einfach eine, eine natürliche Batterie ist, eine Premium-Batterie. Ja? Und das merkt man auch im zweiten Leben. Wenn man es aus einer technischen Perspektive betrachtet, ist es so, dass wenn man Batterien wiederverwendet, kann man sie aus unterschiedlichen Quellen wiederverwenden für unterschiedliche Anlässe. The German-born Indian founded the Nunam startup with his business partner Tarshan Virupaksha, who is based in Bengaluru in India. The company deals with the research and development of Second Life batteries. For example, they converted two battery modules from the Audi e-tron into a portable battery. And it brings light to parts of India. When the sun sets in many parts of India where electrification is not very advanced, life carries on in the dim glow of gas lamps. But Nunam's Second Life battery also makes Indian streets shine at night. Spaces stay open longer. Merchants can continue to sell their wares late into the night. They earn more money. And their standard of living rises. During the day, the Second Life batteries are then recharged with solar panels. So there's a strong environmental impact and there is a significant social impact. So wherever you have electricity, you always have a, usually a positive impact because people are able to do more. Like in the case of these women tailors in Karnataka. They can now sew their clothes with electric sewing machines powered by the Nunam battery, which is in essence a reborn luxury SUV battery. And as their production capacity increases, so does their income. And their health improves too, since they no longer have to work with machines that are powered by foot pedals. Ah, 
ಲೆಗ್ ಅಂದರೆ ತುಂಬ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಕಾಲೆಲ್ಲ ಪೇನ್ ಆಗ್ತಿತ್ತು ತುಂಬ ನೋವಾಗೋದು ಅಂದರೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಕೆಲಸನೂ ಮಾಡೋಕ್ಕಾಗ್ತಿರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಎದ್ದು ವಾಕಾದರೂ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಕೂರ್ತಿದ್ವಿ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಎಷ್ಟು ಗಂಟೆನಾದರೂ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಕೆಲಸ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ಮೊದಲೇ ಎಂಟುವರೆಗೆ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ವಿ ಇವಾಗ ಒಂಬತ್ತುವರೆಗೆ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಆವಾಗೆಲ್ಲ ಎರಡು ಪೀಸು ಮೂರು ಪೀಸು ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ವಿ ಇವಾಗ ನೋಡಿ ಪವರ್ ಮಿಷಿನ್ ಇರೋವ್ರ ಗಂಟೆ ಕೆಲಸ ಎಷ್ಟಾದರೂ ನಾವು ಮಾಡಿಕೊಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅನ್ನೋ ಟಾರ್ಗೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ಕೋತೀವಿ The know-how and the technology for the development of functioning Second Life battery systems is still in its infancy. The research continues. In Nunam's first project in 2017, Second Life batteries were created from used laptop batteries. Each individual battery cell is first put through its paces. Then the functional cells are assembled with a new battery management system to form a small portable battery. which can then help power the lights used by Indian street vendors, for example. The project received funding from the Audi Foundation for the Environment. The cooperation with the auto manufacturer also helped give rise to the idea of building even larger and more powerful Second Life batteries using modules from Audi e-tron batteries. A startup and a large corporation joined forces to do good. Nunan is a startup. Startups are people which have uh, visions, which are innovative, uh, which go into areas where we haven't been, where we are too slow. And the, the concept or the real benefit with this NUNAM is to see such areas and to work with them and, and to increase our innovativeness. Uh, this also helps us to broaden the view. Small villages and they, people which are smiling and using uh, our batteries. And the second life become a real first life for, for them, for those people. Mm. It was thrilling to me. It's a project that transcends national and cultural borders. Large battery modules from the Audi e-tron transformed into Second Life batteries that in turn power electric sewing machines in India and make the everyday work of Indian women easier. And also power electric rickshaws that can be recharged by solar energy. and bring a particularly exotic driving experience the wind in the hair feeling of an open three wheeler from india to europe man spürt eine schöne beschleunigung aber das hat jetzt nichts mit der e-tron beschleunigung zu tun wo wir natürlich viel mehr leistung haben das ist ja klar aber perfekt es funktioniert macht sinn ich könnte mir vom monaco könnte ich mir sowas gut vorstellen das würde würde gut hinpassen It's likely only a matter of time before Nico Rosberg swaps the Audi e-tron with which he has been cruising the streets of his hometown of Monaco for years for a new vehicle, the e-rickshaw, the rebirth of the electric car, which in its second life transforms into something even more sustainable.